Hey everybody, this is Luke with uh, Res6 Studios, and um, I just want to do a quick tutorial on how to add additional uh, layers to my uh, Master Material version 2. Um, I've got a lot of requests on uh, people wanting to know how they add additional layers. Um, so we're just going to dive right in here and make this pretty uh, pretty quick. So under the Res6 Studios, you're going to have material functions. So what we're going to do is we want to create another material function. So we're going to double click on this. We're going to have all our material functions. We're going to click on dirt one and we're just going to duplicate this layer and we're going to name this one. We're going to bring in sand. So um, we're going to name it sand01. So just type in sand01 and then function. So looking good. So now that we have our sand01 function, when we double click on this, it just duplicated everything that was in the dirt layer. So now what we need to do is we need to start uh, doing a little bit of renaming. Uh, we'll just get rid of this for right now. So uh, everything is named dirt 01. So what we need to do is we need to go in here. This is a tedious process. Uh, you don't honestly, you do have to uh, name it differently. However, uh, you can kind of do whatever you like, just as long as it doesn't have the same name. So we're just going to go down here and start renaming all this stuff. And being sure that you add a group of Sando one like on here. Almost done. If you were to keep it the same name, it's going to screw up the uh, material instance because it's going to be looking at the actual name that it's uh, under. And then you're going to notice that it's. Uh, going to be a lot of duplicates and it's just not going to look it's it's going to be jumbled up so you got to just make sure that you take the time and uh have everything written down properly so sand one sand one just double check make sure all these are on the right correct group and correct name okay looks like we're good all right so now what we want to do is right now all this stuff is still under the dirt as far as material is concerned so we're going to uh, click on dirt we have the texture here, so what we're going to do is, uh, oh, actually, I forgot. We actually need to bring in our sand texture. So let's go to textures. And so let's uh, dra drag and drop our sand texture, which I'm going to have right here. So here's my three uh, diffuse, normal, and RHO. We're going to bring this in. Just drag and drop. Should just take a couple minutes to import. All right, there we go. So one thing that we do have to do when doing RHAO uh, is we have to set the actual function of it to the compression. We have to set, instead of default, what we want to do is we want to set the mask because there is no um, RGB information on this. Uh, they're all grayscales and they're all on the uh, uh, RGB uh, individual outputs. So set that the mask and we're ready to go. So now we're going to click on here. We're going to go. And we're just going to type in sand and then sand diffuse. Do the same thing for this one. Sand diffuse. Uh, metallic and specular, you can just leave white. RHAO, same thing, sand. And RHAO, sand one. And same with normals. Same with this one. There you go. Okay, so now, now that this is done, now we're going to save this. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our master material, our tessellated material, or whichever. Uh, it doesn't have to be tessellated. It could be um, non-tessellated. But we're going to go to our master. And it's going to bring up everything that's on the master list here. And we're just going to add it right down here. So what we're going to do is um, move this over. And we're going to go to our material functions where all our function layers are. And our grass, our I'm sorry, our sando one. We're just going to drag and drop into here. All right. So now that we have our actual function layer, this one was mimicking the dirt one. So what we could do is we could just click all this stuff, Control C, and we're going to go down here. We're going to Control V, and we're going to connect all of these up. 
Unfortunately, it is a little bit tedious when it comes to this because I have everything properly named. So uh, in order to do it correctly, we have to basically just go through and start renaming everything. So again, the group, uh, we have to make a new group because as you can see, that sand was only for that function layer. Now we actually have to create a sand01 group for our uh, actual instance. So sand01. And now we have to change the name to sand. Now, because we duplicated, it has this underscore dash one again, so we have to delete that as well. So it's just going to be normal strength sand one. So, and we have to do that for every single one of these. So, sand one. And then now that we already created one, it should be on here. So, sand one. And click down here, sand one. Get rid of this stuff. And again, you can't, if you leave it under dirt one, you're going to be having issues with your material instance because it's going to be all jumbled up all together and you don't want that. So you got to take the time and do all the correct naming. The good thing is it's all the parameters are already set. So the only thing you really have to do is just redo all the naming. So almost done here. And once we actually get finished with that, uh, this, we just have to do some basic hookups and we're good to go with a whole another layer. So let's hand a one. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna, this is gonna be very nitty and gritty. I'm not going to uh, really start um, making the lines really nice and perfect. You can do that on your own. Uh, this is the UVs near. So that's where that one's going. This one says UV far. So we got to make sure that we're going to the UV fars, which right here, UV far, how this one's going. I mean, you can honestly just go UV far up here, but that's why I have these little connections. So as you can see, we just have that connected up. Now we actually have to connect this up. So the combined connection um, is actually gonna be going to our uh, layer blending. So we have to create a new layer blend Right here, and we're just going to name this one Sand01. Again, you would just name it whatever you would name it, um, as far as whatever material you're trying to do. So we're going to go combined. Just going to bring it up, connect it up to there. Now we have to do our height. So we're just going to add the same thing, Sand01. We're going to take our height connection. Plug it in here. Save it. It's going to take a second to save. It's going to recompile the shaders. And what you're going to find is um, if the landscape is already has, I mean, if the, yeah, if the landscape already has the material on it, what we have to do is we have to clear the layer um, so it resets um, the actual material. So, well, let's just, uh, Compile the shader really quick, and then what we're going to do is we're going to click on our landscape. Once it's done, click on our landscape. We're just going to bring it up. We're going to go clear layer, basically. So it should just turn grayscale. So now we're going to go back here. We're going to go to tessellated. We're going to bring in our material instance. Drag and drop. Now when we go back over to here, you're going to see we have a sand O1 layer. So it's going to be compiling that little shader, and then you should see the sand texture. There it goes. And it does this little black thing. A lot of times, if that happens, you just bring this back over. It's just because it was compiling that last layer. Um, so now we have our sand01. Now we actually have to uh, create. Um, we have to create the, our layering. So uh, what we want to do is this little plus sign because when you bring this down, you're not going to have anything because it's, there is no information because we just added it. So we're going to create layer info, and then weight blended. And you're going to save it where all the other layers are uh, saved, which is here. So it's under uh, landscape material and then layers. So you click on that, how it creates that layer. And now when we actually click on this layer, once we click it once, it just needs to compile the shader one more time. And then we will be able to actually paint on this sand layer wherever you would like. As you can see, there's sand. So our sand layer is all ready to go.
Now, again, we can adjust all the parameters too. So now that we have the material instance, when you go into the material instance, you will see dirt one, do two, grass, rock, and then our last layer should be sand right here. And because all of our naming schemes are correct, we took the, uh, the uh, sufficient time to sit here and, and name everything correctly. Now we actually have our own subcategory of sand01, and we have all the parameters that we can mess with. So uh, we can mess with the, the displacement, we can mess with the uh, the tiling. So that tiling is a little bit too big, and maybe I want something a little bit smaller. So we'll go here, maybe three along those lines. Um, this, Displacement again, we can work with displacement a little bit. You know, that's way too much, but you get the idea. Let me set that back up. Um, it's all right here. So that's how you would add an additional layer. You can do that as many times as you would like. Um, but remember, keep in mind that you don't want to saturate quads with a lot of different layers um, because when you do that, um, it just tanks performance. So what you want to do is uh, you want to, under the lit mode, under optimization view, view uh, viewport, or view mode, sorry, uh, shader complexity. So as you can see, we, we had a lot of layers on that one specific quad. So as you can see right down here where it's marking, or actually, I'm sorry, it's like right over here where it's marking. It's like, it's not bad. It's just not the greatest. Like you want something kind of along those lines of the brown color, uh, not so much the red color. So um, just something to keep in mind. But that's how you would add. Um, again, you can add as many layers as you like, but that is the uh, way to do it. All right. So hope this tutorial helped. Thanks very much.